we have to give people a reason to vote and a reason to vote in, in my estimation for most people, uh, people look at their own self-interest. They look at their pocketbooks and they say, you know, <clears throat> can I retire uh, when I, at 65? Can I get my kids through college? You know, can we make our mortgage payments? Is my company still going to be there? Um, they, they look at things like this, you know, are, are my kids going to be able to find jobs uh, in the county? It, it always revolves around kitchen table issues in the economy. And we can argue about a lot of other things, uh, but I think ultimately for the average family that's not involved in politics, <clears throat> they're just trying to, to get by and, and uh, do the best they can. These are the things that, that they care about. I think Democrats have to also spend time talking about what we've done <clears throat> and not crying about what we didn't get done. Yeah. Uh, this administration passed the American Rescue Plan and the infrastructure bill, which has been more federal investment in our country in this first year of President Biden's presidency than any president in history, <clears throat> any president in history. <clears throat> this administration has created more jobs in its first year than any president in history. And we need to focus on those things and talk to our friends and neighbors about those things, <clears throat> not the fact that we didn't get Build Back Better done, and, and we didn't get voting rights done. Uh, we got to talk about what we can do. And then we got to ask ourselves, what are Republicans for? They're not for anything. Uh, if someone could explain to me what the Republican Party stands for, uh, other than licking the boots of a former president, uh, I, I'm not sure what it is. They stand for obstruction. Uh, their, their goal has been to not work with us on anything, whether they agree or disagree with it, and to make sure that President Biden has no victories. <clears throat> well, that's not the way for a party uh, to be the loyal opposition or, or to bring the country forward. I have no idea what the Republican Party stands for other than, than to perpetuate the big lie that the former president takes and, and nobody seems to be willing to stand up to him. There's no leadership at all in that party. Kevin McCarthy's a complete disgrace uh, and, and, and Mitch McConnell just determined never to let anything pass the Senate. So we have, to, we have to talk to people about that too. There's a party that's doing nothing and that stands for nothing. And then there's another party that's trying to make the investments. We saw the Fern Hollow Bridge. Boy, I'm, I'm sure everybody on, on this call goes across that bridge just about every day. I know I do uh, when I'm in Pittsburgh. And we have a lot of aging infrastructure. You know, the former president talked a lot about how he was going to pass a great infrastructure bill. It was going to be the best infrastructure bill. He didn't get it done. Joe Biden got it done in, in, in his first year in office. Uh, so we need to talk about the things that we're doing as Democrats. Uh, and, and uh, you know, the things we can't get done, we need to put some more people in office. And, and that's going to mean working hard in, in this upcoming election and working hard in 2024. 